Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. How do you make your Flash website compatible with iOS devices? That would be iPads, iPhones, and iPod Touches. That was a question I'm not asking. It was something asked by one of you, either on the YouTube uh, comment threads, uh, on Facebook fan page, possibly even on LockerGnome.net. Someone asked the question somewhere, and up until recently, I would have said, Dude, what? <laughs> You're still building websites in Flash? Why? Have you ever visited a website looking for information? You needed that information, and it was in Flash. And you were trying to klutz through the menu because whoever built the damn thing wouldn't know a UI from his ass. That, unfortunately, has been my experience with a lot of Flash-driven websites. Oh, and then if you're on a Flash-driven website and you hit the back button, that's the browser back button. So then you got to start all over again by going forward. Flash is kind of time and a place, just generally not for websites, okay? There. I said it. Now, I'm not saying that you wouldn't want to run Flash on iOS, and certainly you can. There is software available to make that possible, including something that Adobe just released the other day. Flash Media Server now has the ability to stream Flash-driven sites directly to iOS devices without having to run Flash on those devices. Steve Jobs, you win this round. Or now I should say Tim Cook. Apple, uh, yeah. They, they win. Flash isn't going to play on iOS. Ever. Thanks, Adobe, for finally understanding this. And thank you, Mr. or Mrs. Website Builder, for not building entire websites in Flash. Flash is great for some things, like games and video. But for navigation? Come on! Okay, I'm done with my rant. There's the answer to your question. What do you think? We'll see you later.